Hello, my name is Cal Molinay from Richmond, Virginia, and I'm an anarchist. And today we're here at the Compass at VCU to spread the message of freedom. My name is Serzan Flores, and I also live here in Richmond, Virginia, and I too am an anarchist. My name is Eric Davis, and I also live in Richmond, Virginia, and I'm an anarchist too. All right. <laughs> well, see you guys at the Victory Party. Sir, subscribe if you can, and take good care. So that's the hidden bond behind government, behind the matrix. But this organization only knows how to solve problems through one way, and that's through the threat of and use of violence to solve any problems versus a plurality of non-violence. Are you suggesting solutions. a better way to do it? Yes. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> They're like, okay, well, all right, enough of the all promise, right? right. right. Um, all right. So, all right, so the best way to do it is first you have to universalize these principles, right? Like the more position that you and I already share against the initiation of violence, that's called the non-aggression principle. Right. Okay. So it's the notion that you universalize that principle all over the world, right? In the same way as you do with the universality of gravity or thermodynamics, you universalize this principle to every single person, no matter who you are or what title you claim or what costume you're wearing or what shiny piece of metal you put in people's faces. Uh, it's wrong for anyone to initiate violence. Sure. Right. Uh, so that's that's how we start seeing everything as such. Right. Uh, you remove the legitimacy, you know, the false authority a lot of people have over you just because they call themselves something else. Right. That's nothing but a green costume person in a green costume holding a gun. Nothing but a blue person, a guy in a blue costume holding a gun. Right? How do you enforce that? All right, you can enforce that by first not first granting legitimacy. Right. So voting legitimizes that false authority. Right. It participates in that. They, they, they want you to vote. They want to legitimize their false authority because for the most part they're nothing but strangers. Right. You never gave their consent. You never gave agreement. Uh, you know the constitution was not even assigned by everyone who put it together. Right. But if it's wrong and immoral for someone to sign a power attorney for you it's wrong for anyone else so for example like social security you never gave agreement for that you never consented to that but still you're forced to pay for that service whether yeah. you want it or not and you'll never have it when it's time for you to retire okay I mean that, that's definitely a problem all right so so the way to we get that together is kind of unite our community with these values let's turn to your community and turn away from government but how do you enforce that you enforce it in the same way you enforce your own particular rules like when you're on eBay for example there's no government there but it has simple rules that anyone can voluntarily participate in if someone offers a fast service you have user rating system you can rate them down, right? So that's pretty much how we keep each other in check. But eBay stops it, I mean like... Right, so eBay also has a way to stop. You can still have dispute resolution organizations, you can still have security. And so objectively then what government has is a monopoly on these services that we already want. All right, well, are you saying that police shouldn't exist? Or? I'm saying police can exist. I'm saying security, roads, currency, all this can exist. Except it has been monopolized by government. Okay. Like uh, first class mail. The, there's no freedom but to compete against that monopolized service of delivering pieces of paper. FedEx and UPS can only deliver packages, right? Uh, currency, for example, has been monopolized. You don't have the freedom to compete and provide a better, better uh, form of service. I'm mean, bartering. Uh, bartering? Bartering. Uh, bartering? Yeah, yeah, you can barter, but you, you can't create a competing currency against US, US dollar. Somebody tried a few years ago, but it was called the Liberty Dollar. IRS came in, seized its assets, threw them in a cage. Um, and then anytime though, when you look like at economics, anytime you have monopoly, monopolized service like this, for example, the cost continues to rise and the quality continues to decrease. Because there's no freedom of competition, there's no need to improve. Well, how do you suggest regulating like, the police? Like the police, okay, well, I don't reg I suggest regulating this police. I want the freedom for me to choose. Hey, look, 10 years of history, you've never had to assault your own customers, never threw anyone to a cage for a victimless crime. Uh, you can still have, like for example, when you go to a mall, they provide free security there, right? On segways. Uh, when you go to uh, Disney World, they still have security. When you go to a nightclub, they still have bouncers. So they pretty much just enforce only the rules that you've given consent to, right? If you go to a nightclub that has very uh, less tolerant rules, very stringent. What, what about like on the street? Like if I walk outside, I, right, right, right. I, I don't have to worry. Well, even a little bit in Richmond. But yeah, anyway, yeah, yeah. You know, <laughs> all right. What? What? I, I, I usually don't worry. Here? You know, yeah, that yeah, yeah, I, don't, yeah. I don't have to wash my back. As much. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I don't yeah. feel safe. Right, right. Yeah, yeah I want to feel safe too. But I'm just saying, allow us to have the freedom of economic freedom to select who can provide the best service of security. Like, because when you monopolize it, so what if they get rid of one bad person? I want the freedom to withdraw, to cancel, and subscribe. Like Netflix tried to raise their prices last year. People are like, forget that, cancel and subscribe, go to Hulu, right? They lost a lot of business trying to uh, oversee their authority. It's the consumers then that we have the power to control that. Are you saying that uh, we should hire our own policemen? Yeah, for, yeah, and for the directly, most, directly yeah. pay taxes directly to the police department. Or something so it wouldn't be taxes. So it would just be you know, like uh, any other service you pay for, right? Like uh, cellular services or internet access or water services. This is the same sort of thing. You have the freedom now. Anyone can compete, right? As a business, right? Because or to say, I could do it better than you. I could provide a better service that's not going to be harmful and abusive to you, the consumer. 
right? So I, yeah, I want security to privatize everything, homestead everything. Um, homestead the, well, privatize the areas that the government has monopolized, right? Like first class mail, even digital spirits, you have ABC, right? Prohibition hasn't ended yet. It's just been monopolized by the, by the government. The, the wholesale, retail sell, distribution of ethanol, digital spirits, that's been monopolized. That's why you can't buy it under the same roof if you go to like a Walmart or Target or someplace, you know? And there's a lot of different negative impacts that you can have on businesses. So like a business that says we have happy hour, they can't put the specific drink. So they can't put even the pricing, they can't even put it on their own website. Uh, but ABC can on their own website. That is true. Right? So it, that's how it hurts businesses. You as a consumer can't see like which one's going to be like, the, you know, what's the awesome special for today. It makes it even harder for you to figure that out. They can't even uh, use social media to advertise. So there's a lot of different ways that uh, the government kind of restricts our access even to having these services or products that we want. You know, it's, it's them that's in the center. So pretty much like even roads, the government doesn't build roads, right? They take the money, they give that to the to businesses to ready to begin with, the lowest uh, bidder, the lowest lowest denominator with the lowest quality of uh, resources to build roads. And that's why it's like driving them to the move, right? You, you can't really select who's going to provide a better service. Yeah. So that's pretty much uh, what I'm here advocating, I guess, free market, uh, complete free market. I guess uh, we consider free market anarchism uh, without political rules, right? Without, without, and that's all that government is, is for. Uh, pretty much the strangers telling you, deciding how best you should live your life. But you can't tell them the same, right? They can tell you what you can and put it, what you can and cannot put in your own body, but you can't tell a senator what he can and cannot put in his own body. But that's that going back to the beginning of the false authority, right? You never gave the consent. We can still have rules, but what government also has is a monopoly on rules, right? They have a monopoly on law. That's why they don't allow a polycentric legal system. Uh, how do you feel as, as uh, of democracy, like as yeah. a uh, an idea? As an idea? Yeah. Uh, I mean, you can you can still have a community that wants to democracy is in is in the U.S. I, I know we changed it. Right, right. So so like democracy is pretty much a majority votes on something, and that's what happens. Yeah, right. Uh, even against the minority as well, if they don't want that to happen to them. Uh, so even then in the democracy, you don't have the freedom to associate or disassociate. Right. So without a democracy, you have rich competing communities to your preferences. You can have a community that's 420 friendly, one next door that's not. Right. And there's no need to use democracy to force a preference onto everyone else. Uh, because then you can apply that same principle to every area in your life, right? But I don't, I don't know if it's fair to split people up by. No, but there doesn't have to be splitting up. I mean, like when you go to a mall, you don't recognize someone. Like they're from the tribe of Henrico. This person's from the tribe of Gooseland. The Highlanders from Highland Park. You really don't pay attention to. It. You just lowest cell. What's what's going on today? Having fun. You really don't really see who's from who, right? Or see if they're do that if you were to have. Uh, Canos be illegal in one area, and not the other. Right. Well, then, then yeah, no and, then, and then there wouldn't be any problems anymore, right? No, it would. Because the people who don't want to smoke it, great. You don't have to smoke it. I'll never force this onto you. You'll never have to see this preference. But separation creates differences. And you know, if two people live, you know, uh, aside from uh, other, you know, if they, if they create different communities, and they're yeah. going to eventually develop like gaps in between those communities. They might have other conflicts. That's that's right. So eventually, they will diverge into awesome, rich, competing communities. So like you still have it today, like. Golf course communities. Everybody loves golf there. They have a homeowner association that pays for the maintenance of road. They even have security at the front gate. These just have a lot of awesome communities. But isn't that sort of like states? Uh, they wouldn't be called states. They'd just be called. What I mean is that. But a state like is another states. way of saying like the federal, like the country is divisible by states. States are divisible by municipalities, and they're all different forms of government. Yeah. All different forms of political rulers, and you wouldn't really have that anymore uh, because with states, it's it's uh, coherent. You don't have a choice. Like when they pass the ruling like a law, you don't really have a choice to consider. Whether if you, don't, if you don't participate, that rule would be applied to you, right? Okay. Uh, so, in, or are, are you saying that you should have communities for... Yeah, based on contracts. So you look at the rules, I'll look at the consequences, I'll like this, it's not that bad. What if I refuse? No, that's fine, I, I'll, I will create a community to meet your budget. Hey, this is a really awesome community, I, I think you should live here. I we have these amenities. To cater to everything. Free market, so that's like you go to a mall, you see all these different kinds of shirt businesses, right? Like how, how, how like why are you even competing? There's like, really, how can you compete against Gap or how can you compete against 
Navy or uh, H&M, but that's what you find in a free market. A lot of different competing businesses to provide and cater to your needs, right? I may not be able to afford me even iPhone 5, but now I can get an iPhone 2, right? In a free market, the things are opposite, right? But in the monopoly, there's no monopoly of service. The cost of these prices goes down, the quality continues to go up, right? Plasma screen TVs that came out a couple years ago, thousands of dollars. Today, you can buy a better version for just a few hundred bucks. Apple, the new um, operating system for Apple, usually they cost like, you know, se several, you know, 20 bucks or 30 bucks, but they're giving away for free now. Uh, you know, the uh, the operating system two years ago was $30. Uh, you know, and last year was uh, $19.99, $20. So they, they keep continuing knocking off the price, right? So th you'll find a lot of different ways for people to meet your needs at a much better rate than what government offers you. <laughs> But for them, it's like, well, we're just increasing taxes. It's like to 30%, 31%, now it's 39%, now it's nearly half your income, right? And you don't have a choice with that. You can't even economic decide how best to allocate your resources. I mean, I want to wait right? I'm Cal, by the way. Luke. Luke, hey, pleasure to meet you, Luke. <laughs> what to think about. Yeah. Uh, so, like, any negative concerns, like my first concern thinking about this too would be corporations. Uh, but without government, there's no corporation. All a corporation is, is a piece of paper that's back and forth by government to allow you to escape personal liability for your actions. Limited liability corporations, right? Like the oil spill off the coast of Alaska, the CEOs who created that mess didn't lose their house, didn't lose their money, didn't go to court, didn't lose anything. The way they're offset, able to offset the cost because they're a limited liability corporation is on to the employees by lowering your salaries to the consumers by raising consumer prices. They, so that's how they, able, they have immunity from their own actions. This is not so much the government has also immunity. So they just pretty much grant that immunity privileges for corporations. So, I mean, I, well, you're right. Well, uh, sure, well, not your idea, but uh, does this include any sort of like governing body? Uh, you, you would be your, your own governing body. You just whatever. I guess it'll be uh, not. In, it would be voluntary. Right? No, that's pretty much it. We'll be all there. Uh, the kinds of communities you like to live in, the under the kinds of rules you, you feel uh, apply to your own values, uh, that matches and meets your preferences. Right? Like a real contract, like a mortgage contract, or like an apartment contract, or like a, a car payment contract, right? A social contract is not a real contract. You never sign that. And that's much you never sign for social security, right? Uh, so yeah, real contracts. Uh, what that's called, I don't know, it could be called anything at that point, right? Well, what about, you know, uh, just you and I, well, you know, most people keeping up with, with all the laws and whatnot, yeah. the enforcement of community, I mean, I, I feel like I, I'm pretty busy as is, yeah. and, you know, that would be one more thing on my plate as far as uh, keeping up with, with like, rules. I like, oh, that's actually good, so like, sure. so like a lot of these ways to, it's way to like best answer, like, if you're in a place as a business, how can you provide uh, a way to meet that need, right? Uh, for example, hey, these are the established rules, we're not going to go crazy or anything like that, because it, they would notice that if they started going in a way that's, hap I guess, becoming haphazard to your lifestyle or your preference, uh, that you're going to go somewhere else. Right? They're going to lose business, they're going to go bankrupt, it's like uh, Fed, like uh, Netflix trying to overreach. Yeah, but I, I, I've invested in this community. I mean, right, right, I, right. I, I well, you, you own that property, and then you can just compete. Say, hey, you know what, forget them, I could do it better. Right? Now you have the freedom to compete. You don't really have so much of freedom to compete in a state controlled market. Right? Uh, but now you, you, you can. So I guess how do I... Well, most of the rules pretty much stay the same. They can't, they can't enforce a new additional rule on you again if you didn't give consent to it. Right? Kind of like a, it's, it's kind of like when you play games with other people and someone makes up a rule on the spot. It's like whoa, whoa, whoa! If that was going to be the case, you sort of said in the beginning, right? Now it feels like you're kind of cheating me out. Like a lot of board games are like we know some of the similar rules. Perhaps I should rephrase yeah. my question. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. I, like one of the things I, I do like about democracy yeah. um, is is having a representative. I mean, there's definitely a lot of a lot of negatives to that, but uh, uh, he yeah. is able to like you know that is his job to. I delegate, you know, um, because I can't devote the entirety of my time uh, to looking out for legislation and whatnot. Right, right, and, right. you know, he represents the majority of my best interests, I would hope. Yeah. Uh, and then he controls that. Right. Or he takes care of that. And I I, I, I feel like I, I might not have time to do that. Oh, so you wouldn't have really facing this problem in a free market. Uh, the rules are already what you gave and consented to in the beginning when you signed the contract. 
right? Geico can't make up a rule but about it in the middle. Yeah. You know, like the contracts going in and everything. Right, and they give you, you have to agree to it first, right? Uh, sure. Otherwise, that's a violation of the terms of contracts, and you can sue them for, for breach of that. Like, um, like we sign a contract with uh, some the homeowner of the land you're, you're renting, right? They can't just kick you out for no arbitrary reason. It has to be a particular reason. Otherwise, you avoid a contract breach of it, and I can see if you're not going to uphold that contract, all the other businesses are then going to stop upholding their contracts with you. You become socially ostracized, and no one will do business with you. Also, uh, <laughs> what about what are legal systems? Yeah, paralegals. Uh, so there'll be policy legal systems. Pretty much just following the, the Kaiser communities. Like, for example, there's some communities that this is uh, a not too friendly place. You know, cannabis a lot. Uh, a lot of people who don't like the sight of that or the smell of that or feel like maybe it's like a sin or evil can, can live in this kind of community that caters to that preference. No, no, you can like still have if, if you breach the contract or something, yeah. especially or, or yeah, I guess yeah, if yeah, you yeah. violate me, right. how do I see you? Uh, Alright, so like your defense organization, like your you know, like your Geico company will contact my Allstate company. We've already agreed on set of rules and how will we proceed about this because it would be costly to go out at each other. We'd rather have pre arrangements and trying to figure out what would happen if my customer had a conflict with your customer. Right? This stuff kind of happens all the time already. Uh, in, in a lot of capacity in the free market, there's a lot of things that you like, for example, UPS doesn't have access to a lot of planes, so they contract with FedEx to carry some of the package. We still have negotiation rules in a lot of business, like uh, even with insurance. Geico already obviously would have, um, I guess, rules established with Allstate, uh, with a lot of other insurance companies, because otherwise it'd be like, well, you're not part of our customers, so we're not going to acknowledge that this accident happened, right? Uh, so they have agreements because they don't want the same thing happening to them. So if you were to do something to another person, we'll look at the rules of what happened objectively, who initiated that violence, and the person who initiated the violence would be you, of course, or, or me, and then we could look what was the consequences in terms of agreements, right? Uh, either you, you pay restitution directly to the victim, no one else has to be involved, right? Just you know, you're the first person who has to say would be the victim, right? Pay restitution, everything is absolved. All right, great, your premium might go up a little, like if you're a reckless driver, for example, but maybe, obviously, maybe there's anger management issues. Let's go to an anger management class for like maybe a few months, lower your premiums, you know. Uh, let's, let's see why, why you're prone to anger, why you're prone to this aggressiveness, you know, let's, let's trace that back. Uh, that has a lot to do with peaceful parenting. You know, spanking only teaches children when they grow up that violence is a way to solve problems. So kind of retrace this and I don't know, they, they find different ways to help each other. So, you know, threat of a cage, you know, threat of a gun. Uh, that's, and that's all the government does is threat of or wait, where, where does where does this uh, in insurance company put it? Uh, like, so, or, so we'd be kind of insured against each other. How do, I, how do I sign on to that? All right, great. All right, so that, yeah, yeah, yeah. So like, you kind of have that driving. This is like an interesting uh, alternative solution that's kind of been out there now, like a free market example. Uh, so DROs, dispute resolution organization. I mean, eBay already has this, right? Yeah. Like your own bank system has this, right? Someone's. Uh, gives access to your money, uses it up, they say, hey, did you make an unauthorized payment, unauthorized payment, and you're like, no, I did, okay, we're going to credit back this money, we're going to solve this, they, they solve the dispute. So we still have competing agencies trying to, to meet those needs of solving, uh, resolving disputes. Right, but like, do you have an option? Yeah, option. Huh? That yeah. I, I don't want? Yeah, absolutely, yeah, you don't have to have one. So what would end up happening, uh, like me, uh, looking at you, and you're not covered, like, uh, by insurance, I don't know if I want to take that risk of uh, engaging with you or interacting with you. But you don't know that. How do I, oh, yeah, I could ask, hey, do you have uh, your card when you come to my place of business? Oh, sorry, I don't, I'm sorry. It's too much of a risk for me to engage with someone who's, uh, I don't do business with anyone. Right. I mean, like, let's say, let's say, uh, you know, you come to my house that, uh, you know, I offered a, a product on, like, Craigslist or something, sure, sure. and you come to my house to buy that product, and, uh, it's faulty, but you buy it because you're not aware of that. Yeah. And then, you know, you get home and it doesn't work. Right. I'm not aware. All right, all right. So, uh, and I, don't, I, I don't have any insurance. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Thing, yeah. You know. All right. So, like in the insurance yeah. contract, I would have with you saying, like, uh, I lose a lot of a lot of money as a business if you're going to interact with people uh, who exceed that risk. Right. Uh, like this business coverage only applies to other people who are covered by insurance. Right. So don't like so kind of discouraging risky behavior of other people that are not covered. So there will be kind of cost preventive ways to kind of prevent that. It's like, you know what, it's too much of a risk, it goes outside of my insurance, I don't know if I want to do business with you, because I want to be covered, right? Um, and at the same time, you won't be the only one offering that product, <laughs> right? Uh, if you go on eBay, it's like, well, too much of a risk, I'd rather do it here. Right? The free market will find a way.
the free market will find a way. And that's the great thing about it, because no one person has a, like, a solution to it. You liberate like, the billions of minds in this world. A lot of people coming up with creative solutions, different ways to make demands. Look at like Detroit, file for bankruptcy, mass transit is shut down, takes over an hour for the police to respond to one calls. Uh, there's a guy who created his own security company. There. Neighborhoods are paying for it. He's not throwing anyone to a victim institute to a page for a victimless crime. Crime rates have dropped down. Uh, this is another guy, 25 year old college dropout, bought these four buses to paint. He painted in a geographic region of Detroit, and these buses will pick you up wherever you are. Call them, text, it, text them. There's no centralized planning routes. Uh, and these buses also have Wi Fi, music, BYOB, because there's no monopoly at all now to kind of enforce. And that's, that's what we'll find in a free market. Awesome, enjoyable, creative solutions to, to meet our what, what we want, to meet our wants. And needs. No, not the boring, bumpy rides here you had. It comes like every hour and ten minutes, you don't know where they are. <laughs> uh, and then you miss it, you have to wait again. And, uh, free competition will solve that. Hey, go with me instead. All right, I, I, I like a lot of what I'm hearing. Yeah? And I, I'm definitely will be looking for something. All right, but, man. But also, I'm very hungry. Yeah, yeah, of course. Let's we'll, we'll take this with you. This, you find a lot of good stuff uh, on the additional resources in the back here. All right, All right. I'll, I'll do that. All right. <laughs> also, what was your name? One more cow. Time. Cow. Cow. Yeah. It, it's, it's very nice. I appreciate it. Thanks, man. Well, also, thanks for stopping by. Yeah. Where'd you get your hoodie? Man? You like that? It, it's very nice. I was like, whoa, like, like five minutes ago, I was like, wait, that's not a mess. That's a hoodie. Right? Kind of blew my mind. <laughs> I know. <laughs> well, now it's, now it's like far out of, I'm like, finally, kind of takes some stuff out. Um, actually, I, I think my, my girlfriend got this one uh, online, on, on eBay, I think. So, uh, type in like, Vest hoodie on there. I think it might be a Japanese style too. Uh, I forget now, but um, if you're in contact, I'll, right, I'll, I'll, sure I'll, I'll find it. Yeah, you know, internet's a pretty good place. <laughs> but uh, thanks again. Of course, of I course. appreciate it. Appreciate it. Have good care.